Friends, today we delve into a beautiful chapter from the Bible, Psalm chapter 46, which paints a vivid picture of God's unwavering support during turbulent times. Picture a sturdy, unshakable fortress that stands tall amidst a storm. That fortress, dear friends, symbolizes God's presence in our lives. Through Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3, we are reminded that God is our refuge, strength, and present help in times of trouble. Now imagine a world where the ground shakes beneath our feet, where mighty mountains crumble and plunge into the heart of the roaring sea. It may sound like a scene from a thrilling adventure movie. Still, the psalmist uses these dramatic images to represent the trials and tribulations we face in our life's journey. But amidst the chaos, there's a silent, powerful assurance. God is with us. Even when the waters roar and foam and the mountains tremble, we stand firm, unafraid. Because our trust is anchored in the Almighty, our ever-present help in times of trouble. This psalm invites us into a realm of unyielding trust where fear finds no dwelling. It's a call to embrace God's unending strength, to seek refuge in His loving presence, and to walk courageously through life's storms, knowing we are never alone. So let's embark on this journey together, exploring the depths of Psalm chapter 46, verses 1 to 3, and uncovering the boundless comfort and courage it offers to us. Through today's message, may our hearts be anchored in the unshakable trust that God is our refuge and strength, a present help in our adversities. My dear friends, when we say God is our refuge, we are really saying that He is our safe haven, our shelter in the stormy weathers of life. Just as a house shelters us from a raging storm, God covers us with His wings of love and protection when life throws its curveballs. Picture a little bird finding shelter under its mother's wings during a storm. The fierce winds blow and the rain pours down, but the little bird stays dry and warm. We too have stories in our hearts, stories of moments when life's storms raged around us, yet we found a warm, peaceful shelter in God. We can recount times of turmoil where God's refuge was as natural as the roof over our heads. Beloved, this assurance of protection isn't just a one-time deal, it's an everlasting promise. Each day, as believers, we can wake up with a heart full of hope, knowing that, come what may, we have a refuge, a safe place where fear and despair have no room. When we trust in God, we step into a realm of peace, even when the world is in disarray. Now, not only is God our refuge, but He is also our strength. His strength is not like the strength of a bodybuilder or a sturdy tree that eventually withers away. God's strength is unending, unyielding, and unmatched. Remember the story of David and Goliath? A young shepherd boy, armed only with a sling and a stone, defeated a giant that the whole army feared. It wasn't David's strength that won the battle. It was the strength of our almighty God flowing through David. And then there's the parting of the Red Sea, a miraculous display of God's mighty strength that paved a way of escape for the Israelites from the clutches of Pharaoh's army. These aren't just stories, but testimonies of God's immeasurable strength. So, in our moments of weakness, when the burdens of life seem too heavy to bear, we have a divine invitation to lean on God's strength. When we feel weary, He is our strength. When we feel anxious, He is our peace. When the community faces a crisis, it's not the time to retreat in fear, but to lean on God's everlasting arms. And as we depend on Him, we find a boundless strength that uplifts us and the community around us. Through every personal or communal crisis, we have a fortress of strength ready to uphold us. That, my friends, is our Heavenly Father's incredible might and tender care. The psalmist doesn't hold back in painting a picture of what seems like an apocalypse. The earth is giving way, mountains moving, waters roaring and foaming, mountains trembling at the swelling sea. This imagery is vibrant and terrifying, yet in its core, it's metaphorical. It's a symbol of life's unpredictable and sometimes scary circumstances. These natural disasters symbolize the trials, the sudden misfortunes, or the fears that can ambush us without warning. It could be a loss of a job, a dire medical diagnosis, or a sudden upheaval in our personal life. Just like an earthquake shakes the ground beneath, these life events shake the core of our existence threatening to engulf us in a sea of despair. 
Now let's bring this imagery home to our own personal experiences. We all have faced or are facing storms in our lives. Each storm may look different, but they all have a common companion, fear. I remember a dear friend sharing her story of facing the fear of the unknown when her child was diagnosed with a chronic illness. The diagnosis was a mountain that suddenly moved into her peaceful sea, causing ripples of fear, anxiety, and uncertainty. But amidst the roaring waves, she found an anchor in her faith. She shared how the assurance of God's presence was her refuge, how his strength became her backbone during the countless hospital visits and sleepless nights. Her testimony is a living testament to Psalm 46, that God remains our steadfast refuge even when the earth gives way. The beauty in these narratives is the common thread of overcoming fear by trusting in God's presence and strength. Fear, my friends, is a natural response, but faith is a supernatural solution. When we choose to trust God during the storm, we exchange our fear for faith, our panic for peace, and our uncertainty for an unshakable trust in God's unwavering strength and ever-present help. The psalmist says, therefore we will not fear. It's a choice to trust God over succumbing to fear. And as we make that choice, we find divine courage that propels us to face life's storms with a calm heart and a steadfast spirit. So when the waters roar and foam around us, we can stand firm, unafraid, for our trust is in the Almighty, our refuge and strength. The assurance of God's ever-present help, a very present help in trouble. These comforting words from Psalm 46 are like a warm embrace in the cold nights of adversity. It's a declaration of God's omnipresence, His being with us at all times and places. God's omnipresence isn't a distant, unapproachable attribute. He says, I am here right where you are amid your struggle. Unlike humans, God isn't bound by time or space. He isn't a friend we must schedule appointments with or a helper who might arrive too late. He's ever present, ever ready, and ever willing to help us. His accessibility is our assurance. Friends, this assurance is an invitation to seek God's help through prayer, worship, and community. It's a call to reach out to God in sincere prayer, to worship Him with a trusting heart, and to find His presence in the fellowship of believers. When we knock, the door will be opened. When we seek, we shall find. When we call upon Him, He's already there, ready to help. Reflecting on our lives, we can all recall moments where God's timely help was evident. It's in how He mends a broken heart, provides for our needs, or brings healing and restoration. His intervention is often a beacon of hope in our darkest hours. I invite you, dear ones, to share your experiences of God's timely help. Your story could be a light for someone groping in the darkness of despair. Through sharing, we build each other up, reminding one another of God's faithfulness. These shared stories, these lived experiences, reiterate the promise of Psalm 46. God is indeed a very present help in trouble. Every testimony is a reminder that no matter what we face or how insurmountable the situation seems, God's help is just a prayer away. His promise is to be with us, strengthen us, help us, and uphold us with His righteous right hand. So dear friends, let us hold fast to this promise, for it's our anchor in life's uncertainties. Our God is not a distant deity, but a present help, a loving Father who walks with us through every high and every low. As we reflect on the profound message of Psalm chapter 46, verses 1 to 3, let's encapsulate what we've unearthed today. The psalmist, with a heart whole of assurance, echoes a timeless truth that God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. No matter the storm's magnitude, the wave's ferocity, or the trembling of life's mountains, our God remains steadfast, unchangeable, and ever-present. Let this truth sink deep into our hearts that we are never alone in our battles, for we have an omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent God, a God who invites us to lean on His strength, to find refuge in His love, and to trust His heart even when we can't trace His hand. Dear friend, let this divine assurance propel us to face life's storms with a courage that defies human understanding, with an unyielding faith, 
and with a hope anchored in God's unfailing character. Let's step into the coming days with a heart full of trust in God's protection, knowing that come what may, our God is for us, with us, and within us. Let us bow our heads and hearts in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for the unending protection, boundless strength, and ever-present help you provide in our times of trouble. We thank you for being our refuge, our safe haven in the storms of life. Your faithfulness is a shield and a buckler, a truth we hold dear. Lord, as we step into the unknown of tomorrow, we do so with a heart full of trust in your goodness and mercy. Thank you for the assurance that you are with us, that your help is always timely and your love is unfailing. May our lives be a testament to your grace and may our hearts always find courage in your presence. We pray for those among us going through challenging times. May they experience your peace, comfort, and provision in profound ways. We invite your Holy Spirit to stir in our hearts, deepen our faith, and draw us closer to you and each other. Now, dear friends, I invite you to take a few moments of personal reflection. Reflect on God's Word, lift a prayer of faith, and feel free to share your heart with your community. May the fellowship of faith strengthen us, encourage us, and propel us to live a life of trust and courage in God. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we pray. Amen.